Thank you very much for being here today during the weekend. I know it's not it's not easy for all of you, um, and um, I hope you're going to have a great time during these 30 hours or so. Um, and uh, so this place is going to be the place where we're going to stay for the entire time. So we set up the uh, logistics behind you. Uh, everything is going to be here. Food is going to be served here. The only the only thing where <laughs> The only reason why you should uh, get out is to go to the restroom, so to go back to your place tonight. So um, let me go to the next slide, which is about um, I had so initially the plan was to have my manager with C2 and with the deputy CTO to give a talk on technology strategy. Uh, the bad news is that he couldn't come today, so we had to decline our mediation last minute. Uh, the good news is that you're going to have more time to spend on the technologies themselves because I'm not going to spend time. The time that he had uh, was that we had dedicated for his keynotes uh, talking to you about the strategies. So you're going to hear that during uh, TechEd. How many of you are going to be at TechEd? So not all of you. Okay, so um, Inojam. Um, I don't know if many of you have participated before, uh, but we started actually almost exactly one year ago. The first one was called Innovation Weekend. We did it in Berlin last year. Um, and uh, people were very happy with InnoJam, so we changed the name actually to InnoJam because sometimes we don't run that the weekend. Uh, so we came up with this new name at the beginning of 2011. And this year, this one actually is our 16th uh, InnoJam. So we've run a lot um, since last year, uh, all over the place. Sometimes internally, sometimes externally with the tech ed, sometimes with user groups, uh, sometimes specifically for customers uh, in certain regions. So we've, we've explored many ways to run InnoJams. And uh, our objective is really to encourage people to be creative and innovative with our latest technologies. So we hope that we're going to have a good time with what we brought to you today. Um, and um, I guess you've signed up um, because of mobility. So the theme of this inner jam is mobility. So the, the, what we ask you to do is to think about mobile applications that you would like to build and try to build them with what we brought to you. Uh, and I'm going to go into details of the technologies. Uh, but let me say a few words about mobility. Uh, mobility is not new. Um, remember, uh, I, most of you have not seen this, but uh, when I started to work, actually, we talked about mobility when we thought about these portable computers. Um, so things have changed, of course, and when we talk about mobility, we don't think about this anymore. Uh, and I just wanted to talk to you about some of the beliefs we have about why mobility is so different now. Um, and actually, so what we believe is that there are three big trends that make mobility so relevant now for our lives. One is the fact that uh, there is a phenomena, phenomenon of data explosion. So more and more data is created. The second one is that the decision points in companies and everywhere are multiplying. So it's just becoming. Um, I mean, if you see at different levels, I mean, people, all people are taking decisions now, and they want to do this as fast as possible. And of course, the devices. I mean, billions of devices. I mean, we talk about billions of devices, um, and uh, and they are multiple. So. All of this is expanding, um, and um, what we say is that um, each combination of data, decision points, and device is an opportunity to build the mobile application. Uh, and it plays also as well for the enterprise. Uh, if you look at today on um, the Apple Store, there are 10 billion app downloads. Um, I mean, there have been more than 10 billion app downloads on the Apple Store. So, um, a mobile app, as I was saying, is uh, an intersection of data. So which data do you want to use? What type of decision uses that data? And devices, which devices are you going to use it for? 
and what reason uh, do you want to use a mobile device for? So think about think about that when you think about building an application. Is it relevant for what? What do you need? Which mobile device is the best one? Is the most appropriate for what you want to build? So I didn't want to be very long. I just wanted to give you a quick intro on why mobility was a chosen topic for this InnoJam. Um, I mean, you've probably heard uh, it's a big topic for SAP. The reason why we quite signed um, is a few months ago. Is it a few months ago? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, that's about mobility. So today is really your chance to build your mobile app and become famous in front of thousands of people. Uh, so the winner of the 30 hours competition is going to compete uh, with the other demo jam uh, selected teams on Wednesday evening. Uh, so um, we'll see tomorrow. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, the quick intro about um, this InnoJam. So now about the agenda, I just wanted to give you a quick update. We changed a little bit, so actually we're not too far from uh, where I want to be. So 2 o'clock, we're going to start the Tech Fire, and you're going to get a short presentation uh, about SUP, which is Sybase and Wire Platform, Gateway, and then Hana. And you're going to get specific experts to present that to you. They're going to be quick, so that you have, uh, you've got uh, work on the technology themselves as soon as possible. Uh, after that, so we estimate about half an hour for that. Then this fire is really when you will get a chance to pitch your idea and try to attract people to work with you on what you want to build. So we've, I'm going to show again what was submitted to Idea Place. Uh, some of you submitted some ideas. You can use them. You are not forced to use them. You can come up with new ideas today. So there is no obligation to use what has been posted before. But if you want, you can get a chance to come here and just talk about what you want to build and say what skills you need and also how many people would you like to get to help you. Um, tea will be served at 3 o'clock. Uh, we're going to spend some time trying to do some team building and helping some of the teams that lack some of the skills they would like to have to build their mobile apps um, to find the right people in the room. Um, and then uh, after that, we're going to have you participate and help us do the work that we didn't have time to do yesterday, which is the installation of SUP 2.1 and all the labs up there. Should be quick, but it's going to give you also some, um, some, uh, how do you say, experience with installing the software. Um, and then uh, after that, you're going to be free to start to code uh, the experts that we have in mind for other how do you during the entire time? So we have people that have expertise in HANA, we have people experts in SUP, we have people experts with gateways. So you should have everyone you need uh, to start coding. Dinner is going to be served at 6.30 tonight, and then we're going to have one more serving of food at 10 p.m. for the break that want to stay with us uh, later tonight. Uh, second day, so um, you can stay the entire night if you want. We're going to stay until um, someone is here. Um, and then tomorrow morning, you'll have breakfast served here. Um, then there is a break with some food at 10 a.m., lunch at 12.30, and then a snack at 3 p.m. Nothing else is written here because we, I mean, the only thing that you're going to be doing is try to build your app and prototype it. Uh, at 5 p.m., we're going to stop. And uh, coding and ask you to come and present what you've done in front of judges that are going to join us at this time. And uh, we're going to ask them to judge your um, demo uh, based on three criteria. One is innovation, the other one is business viability, which is actually doesn't make sense as a business to have this app, but would it sell? Uh, and then this, the last one is desirability. So, what would be the user's perspective on the app if they want to use it? And then at 7 p.m. or maybe around 7 p.m., depending on how many teams we have, uh, we're going to um, announce the winners um, and take some pictures and let you go. So that's the agenda. Uh, are there any questions at this point? No question? Okay. You can still ask me questions later on. Okay, so um, take fire. I'm not sure we have all the experts here, but maybe we do. Uh, 
SUP is available or? Okay, good. 